Hello once again SK fam and welcome to SK in March. The video where I try to summarize everything that's been happening with our different modalities in a nice, quick and simple way. And like always, let's just start with some League of Legends action, shall we? The LEC was quite insane for us this year. We had a really cool win streak that led us through most of the season, but then we finished off with kind of a loss streak in the end. That being said, we still made playoffs since our inward ticket was kind of guaranteed after Vitality beat Misfits right before our game versus G2. So thank you, Crowny, I guess. Once SK, always SK. We carried on our journey facing Fnatic in the very first bracket of our playoffs run in a do or die match that could either carry our run further or just drop out completely. Sorry, Brom. El Clasico was indeed back and it started out like this. You can take me to Moisty Meyer, but, but not lose leg. I'd really love to <laughs> jug jug with you. We can be pro Fortnite gamers. If you were not a fan of this team before, then after hearing them sing a cappella, chug jug, I mean. The best of five against our rivals of the past was tough. But for a moment there, things seemed like we were headed to a game five that was going to decide it all. But then... One final fight. The last chance that they have. What can SK do? Selfmade going in, he's denying the towers. Blue backing off, the colon shredding through his health. Can they turn this one? Treats going back in for the engage. All eyes on Blue, but he can't get anything done. Hillisang pulls Billy! the trigger first. He turns, he burns. Fnatic shred through SK gaming. It was one the very first split for four out of our five players. And three out of those four got nominated for Rookie of the Split. So all in all, we're actually really proud of what we've achieved this split. Quickly speaking about SK Prime, they've also made playoffs in March, and they've also dropped out in the first game of the bracket against Schalke Evolution. It's been an unfortunate end of the run for them since they were doing magnificently well. Now they're resting up to guarantee a much better split in the summer. Regarding FIFA, it's been quite a ride these last few matches of the season. The last time we spoke, the team was ranked sixth, but we had a few games behind some of the other teams. Well, our last four matches, we came up with two wins, one tie and one loss, throwing us all the way to finish up the season in second place. And not only that, Stranger, our very own PlayStation player, was nominated the best at 1v1s, having achieved the highest number of victories with a whopping 58% win rate and also the highest points amassed by a single player. That's 48, nine more than the second place, which should just prove to anyone already that he's on a completely other level, right? We're really glad to have him fighting for us and not against us. Regarding the big finals, we were placed in Group B, where we managed to fight out of it in a glorified second seed, managing this way to get ourselves into the semifinals, but then unfortunately lost to Heidenheim, who went on to become the eventual champion of eFootball in Germany. Stay alert for our Twitter to find out what action you can find FIFA-wise in the next coming months, which is definitely gonna be action-packed. I mean, how else could it not with these be scaring us all the way? And finally, let's talk mobile, because there is for sure a lot to talk about. Clash Royale has been marked this month by the participation of Morton in the monthly finals. He was able to qualify to the monthly finals by being second in the ladder. And after a long and arduous journey, he played it flawlessly up to the very finals, only to then drop to a player that he had already beaten previously and sent to the loser's bracket line. Those last games went a little bit like this. Zap trying to control here at the bridge. Miner goes to the back, right into the spears. Oh. A fly machine gets on tower, and there you go. Morton takes game number one. Yeah, well, he knows he has to get past that cannon card. Doesn't have any good way to do it here. Fireball in on the archers. Snowball in behind. King Tower does get activated, but skeletons, can they do it? Can one skeleton hit? No, cannot. Oh, yeah, 1329. Oh. I was completely on the left-hand side. <laughs> line takes game number two. Like always, Morton is just haunted by close finishes but he's been setting himself up for some really interesting monthly finals coming up in the next few months he's the goat after all right and we also need to talk about what big spin's been doing lately he's kind of hosting a tournament for this game that everyone's been talking about um wild rift and from what we've seen so far We've just launched the biggest Wild Rift tournament so far in Europe. The game wasn't even out in the US while we were launching this. And so far, it's been a blast. League of Legends on your phone, and it actually works. Just take a look. Oh, good im Effort, but good im Effort. Oh, good, catch. Reicht es aus? Nein, Sonias kommt, während Ace komplett alive ist. Reicht das? Sonias einfach mehr als aus und 
die, sein Team macht da alles kaputt in der Zeit. Holy, richtig starke Sonias. Da wird er jetzt noch sterben, Freunde. Aber guckt euch an. Es sind noch drei Personen, beziehungsweise vier Personen sogar noch am Leben. The tournament is still ongoing, so you're pretty much set up to continue following it. Just drop Big Spin a follow on Twitch or on Twitter and find out when the next bracket play is. And I've obviously saved the best for last. Brawl Stars. Ah, what a month March has been. March came along and so did the monthly finals, which started out with this brilliant moment by Sky. I'm coming from... Okay. Wait, wait, wait. You spotted me. Can they put in? But despite these tiny glitches in the Matrix, we ended up going all the way to the finals to face Clash and losing. But... This is still a completely new roster, and they're playing together for the very first time. That's really not bad at all to just go to the finals of the monthly finals, right? In fact, right after this, we managed to qualify for the April finals once again, and then went on to win the Queso Cup for the very first time, beating none other than Clash in the finals. And finally, we should definitely not be talking about this in SK in March, but since it already happened, there's actually no point in hiding it, so... We won April monthly finals, but I'll go deeper about that in next month's video since it makes more sense. For now, you can check out the voice comps that we just released this week. Tell no one. These S-tier godlike creatures named Symantec, Skyrix, and Jeetan have been terrorizing teams back and forth in the finals, in the qualifiers, in tournaments. But be aware, the best is yet to come. Keep that in mind. And I'll end on that note, because that's the best note that I could end on, actually. Namely, looking forward to a really bright future. I will remind you as a final thing that we have started a TikTok account and we're having our content creators, players, and even staff run it with a bunch of content that you really need to look at. Be it with gameplay, funny moments, and just whatever this is. <laughs> If this is your thing, which it totally should be if you're an SK fan, then drop us a follow and look out for more content of whatever game you're searching for. Tuning out, have a good April everyone. Stay safe, bye, see ya.